Factor investing is an investment strategy which uses data and patterns to make investment decisions. It's like finding a recipe based on certain ingredients that have worked well in the past. Here, factor refers to certain characteristics that stocks might have. For example, stocks which report high earnings growth for long periods and see a near continuous upward revision in the stock price could be said to have the characteristic of growth. Similarly, a company with strong fundamentals which is not being fully reflected in the stock price could be said to have the characteristic of value. You know, a stock which continues to rise could be called a momentum stock and one with consistent earnings supported by strong ratios could be a quality stock. So when we make groupings of these stocks based on these characteristics or factors as they are called, it is called factor investing. So where traditional investing relies on the skill and expertise of the fund manager and their team, factor investing relies on a mathematically driven model that uses algorithms or statistical techniques and thus it is rule-based and completely eliminates any emotional bias. But the winners keep changing. Depending on the prevailing market conditions, certain factors do well in certain years. And so, complete reliance on any one factor may potentially skew the portfolio. Which is why a diversified, multi-factor approach can help mitigate underperformance during unfavorable market conditions for a particular factor. Meet the SBI Quant Fund, the latest offering from SBI Mutual Fund. The SBI Quant Fund follows a multi-factor model and here's why. There are many differences between the SBI Quant Fund and any other fund that's out there. But let me illustrate some of the key differentiating attributes. Number one, when you think about this fund versus the normal actively managed fund out there, the key difference is one of having an objective quantitative framework compared to a subjective discretionary framework. That inherently means a very different type of portfolio construction, a very different way of managing the portfolio. And, and so that, in my opinion, is one of the biggest differentiating factors. Two, even when I compare the SBI quant fund with some of the other quant funds that are out there, most of the quant funds that are out there focus on one or two factors. For example, there are quant funds that focus on the momentum factor. There are quant funds that focus on the quality factor. But here we have a fund that really is a multi-factor oriented fund where we have four very different factors that come together to build a robust portfolio. What it does is that regardless of the exact market regime, be it value-oriented market or a quality-oriented market or a growth-oriented market, ideally speaking, this fund should still do well because it is including all these factors in the portfolio construction. Three, one key positive aspect of this fund is that the weightage that we've assigned to these factors are not static or stagnant in nature. Depending on the market re uh, regime or the market environment, the weightage assigned to a particular factor can change meaningfully. So if we find that value as a style is doing well, automatically the weight assigned to value will go up, while the weight assigned to some other factor, let's say quality, will go down. And if it reaches an extreme, we also have a provision to renormalize the weights back to neutral. That way, we are essentially sticking with a particular style, but then we are also mindful of inflection points, where if we feel that it has become so extreme, then we also want to take the other side of that. So this dynamic weightage that we are assigning to these factors, in my opinion, is a very key differentiator for the SBI Quant Fund. In fact, since the fund will rely entirely on data, it was possible for us to backtest the performance of our model and we found that over three, five and ten year periods, the model had actually beaten the BSE 200 index quite handsomely. In fact, if we compare it to the BSE 200 since the index's inception in 2005, the outperformance is about 7%. And if you look at the worst periods of equity market performance, the drawdowns as we call it, the SBI quant model demonstrates resilience in market downturns 
and recovers faster than the BSC 200 due to its nimble adaptive strategy. For example, during the 2008 crisis, it contained losses more effectively than BSC 200. This adaptability allows the model to quickly pivot during market shifts and it can provide investors with a more stable journey through volatility. For the portfolio construction, uh, we first look at each and every stock in the top 200 market cap. That's our universe and we rank each stock uh, based on momentum, value, quality and growth. So each stock in that universe, uh, which is mainly a large cap universe, we uh, get they get a momentum rank, a value rank, a quality rank and a growth rank. And then we combine all those four ranks to come up with a quant rank. Um, how that quant rank is derived is basically based on the weightages uh, on, uh, of each of the factors. And the weights are, uh, are a result of which factor is working. So we look at the factor momentum and we give a higher weightage to the factors which are performing and we reduce the weight of the factors which are underperforming. And that leads to a quant score. And the quant score is the sole deciding factor of uh, which stocks will enter the portfolio or not. The last leg is that we want to keep the uh, portfolio um, less, uh, we don't want to lead to an extreme concentration of the portfolio. We don't want to take excessive liquidity, um, illiquid stocks. So we have a few risk constraints where um, we um, have some active sector and stock weights, we have some liquidity uh, limits, we have some uh, turnover limits, and that uh, leads to the final construction of the portfolio. The NFO for the SBI Quant Fund will remain open between the 4th and 18th of December. You can start your investment with a monthly SIP of 500 rupees and a minimum lump sum application of 5,000 rupees. Do contact your investment advisor or mutual fund distributor for more information on this fund. Thanks for watching and happy investing. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.